Hi guys. So you haven't seen me for a while and that's because I haven't been here and neither has Primrose. Uh, we actually, me and my boyfriend, we decided to do a trial run to see what it would be like for me and Primrose to move to his place. Either if you want, we want to do it permanently or just for a longer period of time because Primrose is really not used to traveling and not used to being outside of this apartment. Um, so we wanted to see how she does um, in a different place and with, you know, traveling. It's not far because we are both within the city, but it's just a different neighborhood. But still, it's kind of stressful for Primrose to travel, but she did very well. And we decided to do the trial run for a week or so. And Primrose and I ended up staying there for uh, six weeks. Oh, hi. Yes, I was talking about you. <laughs> So, um, yeah, she did very well. She felt good being there. I felt good being there too, because it's more central, so it's closer to everything else. And where I live, it's it, the commute is, you know, so much longer and so much more hassle. Um, but we are here, we moved back yesterday, and I, I didn't really film at his place because filming for you guys is something that really correlates in my mind with this place and with this space with my computer and my webcam and it just I didn't feel comfortable like doing it somewhere else um I don't know it was just it was weird um it didn't feel right <laughs> so that's why I was gone but I'm back and nothing really happened I mean a lot of things happened but nothing that comes to mind right now I got my first dose of my vaccine, so on top of being um, a, you know, a recovered, I don't know, recovered survivor <laughs> of COVID-19 in March and April, I'm also now vaccinated with um, one dose and my second one's gonna be the day after tomorrow. So I'm gonna be fully vaxxed, hopefully, um, in time for <laughs> our fourth wave in the fall, which I think that might happen in Poland. Like 45% of the population is vaccinated. I think a fourth wave is very, very possible. Um, so yeah, and it's been unbearably hot. I hate the summer. I, I really hate hot weather and you know, I live in Poland, so it's not even that hot, but like a hundred degrees Fahrenheit is oh, it's too much for me. I, I can't do hot weather. And um, the only thing that makes summers bearable for me is one thunderstorms because I love thunderstorms. We don't get enough of them. Um, we don't get that many storms in general, although they have been getting stronger and stronger which isn't good obviously because people are losing their homes and their livelihoods and their lives also. So I'd much rather we had more thunderstorms, but if they were milder, but I like thunderstorms. And also summer fruit, cause um, strawberries, sweet cherries, watermelon, peaches, that's what I'm waiting for the entire year. And um, right now, that's the only thing that is helping me cope with this unbearable weather. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm gonna be, I have a lot of chores to do now that I'm back. So I think I might film some of these and do like a productivity vlog next week, maybe. Um, I have a lot of stuff to do. So I might take you along with me to do the things, I don't know if that's interesting, but you know, it's the most things that I have to do outside of home. So that's unusual. So I don't know. Um, I love you guys and I have some more responses that will be coming up later. And Primrose also says hi, although she's back to napping now. Bye guys.